All right, hi there. Uh, my name's Matt Mason. I'm with Imagine It Technologies, and I've got a couple minutes here to talk to you about our product called Imagine It Scan to BIM for Revit. The purpose that we've always had in developing this product has always been centered on the Revit user and the problem as we saw it through the eyes of that Revit user looking at a point cloud in Revit and trying to figure out the best way to take that point cloud and make it into what you want to have inside of Revit best practices, all the best workflows that we wanted to support in that. Our product actually goes back to about 2010 uh, for working inside of Revit before Revit actually supported point clouds. We had a homegrown point cloud engine and a mechanism to display those points inside of Revit. But uh, when Autodesk actually brought in support for point clouds in uh, 2012, uh, we saw that that was the way to, to go. So we focused on their uh, PCG engine and then now the better Autodesk recap point engine. But I think the other, other interesting part of this is that because of the way that Leica has integrated with Revit as well with their Cloudworks product, we actually have the ability to leverage Leica point cloud engine inside of Revit as well if you have the Leica Cloudworks product. So what do we do and what do we help with inside of Revit? Well, we cover a variety of areas, architecture, structure, MEP. You know, within architecture, it's mostly focused on, you know, walls as well as uh, topography. On the walls side of things, we spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's the best way for you to model something inside of Revit. You know, do you want to model things as perfect planar walls or do you want to model things that recognize that the wall is sloped and out of plumb? Um, there's all sorts of trade-offs involved there, and we try to support as many options as possible. Um, and then on the, the, the topography side of things, trying to capture the, you know, the uh, topography to integrate it into the building model. On the structure side, we do a variety of column-oriented work. On the MEP side, we do piping, we do duct work, uh, we do conduit. Um, and anything that's um, outside of these areas where we can do automated recognition, you know, there's things like stairs that we can't automate inside of Revit. However, we can create construction geometry that you can leverage to be able to finish the job yourself inside of the Revit environment. Uh, another thing that we do that we've spent a lot of time on um, is try to figure out what's the best way for people to be analyzing and documenting where the model that you've done in Revit deviates from the reality represented by the point cloud. Uh, so for example, we have things like heat map tools to visually see the discrepancies. Uh, we've got grid-based tools, similar to how a surveyor might walk the floor and, uh, and measure how much the floor slopes over the, uh, the span of it. Uh, we've also got statistical tools, and all of these are, are things that can be documented into your Revit model as a deliverable for how much deviation there is. Now, in terms of areas that we're, you know, continuing to push on, uh, everyone would like this to be the easy button and just press a button and go get some coffee and when you're back, everything's all converted into, uh, into Revit. We've done that with our cylindrical pipe kind of tools uh, to be able to automate that side. We're working on the other aspects as well, um, you know, as are others. And in terms of more broadly what we think is really interesting about, uh, about the market and what we're excited to see uh, and innovation is that historically we've worked really mostly with terrestrial based uh, laser scanners that are you know, relatively expensive. Uh, they can do super tight tolerances for things like historical preservation, which Revit is really not all that good at, uh, at representing, uh, but it could also do traditional as built BIM existing condition kind of work. But um, you know, the new products that are out there, the new platforms for scanning, uh, whether it's backpacks like Leica's backpack or UAVs uh, in the US, sorry, I guess uh, Canada's maybe not, uh, not fully legal for that yet, is my understanding. Um, and, uh, and, then, uh, and then photogrammetry. We kind of feel like there's, there's more and more opportunities coming uh, where new kinds of customers, uh, new kinds of needs where people would like to do you know, scanning that's a little bit less accurate and maybe a little bit less expensive uh, and it's accurate enough for their purposes. Things like uh, facilities management uh, to audit, you know, the space usage or that kind of thing. So there's some interesting things about that and we're trying to uh, drive our product uh, in a way to be able to support those kinds of opportunities as well. Looking forward, so thank you.